Wildcat Athlete of the Week interview. I'm here with cross country runner Allison Lowe. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, tell me a little bit about the Minnesota meet. Well, um, it was in Minnesota. It was in Minneapolis. Um, it was on a golf course with rolling hills, so it was kind of harder. Um, it's the biggest race I've ever ran in, in my life. Um, we were competing against um, 413 other people, and that was just for Division Two, so it was pretty big. Okay, um, I saw that there was a four-second difference between you and the second-place runner, Taylor, correct? That's right. Okay, so I know you've told me a bunch of times that minutes are a big deal. It's, well, seconds are a big deal in this country, so what does four seconds look like? Like, how was that finish? Were you competing against her? Were you running next to each other? Well, to start out with, I started ahead of her, and then she got back ahead of me, and then at the end, I got back ahead of her. But um, just to go to show you how seconds can matter, um, I finished 144th overall, and I think she finished like 153rd. So there are that many people in between four seconds. Oh wow! Okay, that definitely shows. Okay, so you went to you also went to New York. Yes. So compare New York and Minnesota the meet both of those. So I know it was raining in New York. So which one did you enjoy more? Definitely the Minnesota meet. Um, the New York meet was the worst race I've ever had in my college career. Um, it was raining. It was uh, painful because we were running at, like, the rain was coming at us for a lot of the race. Um, and mentally, I just was not there in New York. So I definitely enjoyed Minnesota better. You should come back. Yeah. Okay, so how does it feel to be back on top, number one runner? Um, feels pretty good. Uh, it's To me, it's always I want whoever's going to make the team best. And... Um, if that's not me, then whoever is on the top will just push the rest of us. So I appreciate that, but it does feel good to be one of the older ones on the team. And it's like I've worked hard for three years, and I just feel like it feels good. That's what I like to hear. Okay, um, but were you surprised? I know you didn't know. You were at the hospital um, doing your clinical. So were you surprised that another cross-country runner got it? Or I was, actually. Normally, um, only one runner a season will get it. And I knew that Taylor had already gotten it, so I was surprised, but um, it's nice. <laughs> well, you got it, you deserve it. So, you're a nursing major, obviously. Um, so, how do you balance the school aspect with the nursing aspect? Because I know it's a grueling program here at GCC. Or GC. Uh, it's not easy, to say the least. Um, I, it's all about time management. Um, it's either you're at practice, or you're lifting weights, or you're studying, or you're in a clinical, or you're in class. I mean, it's just... Is what you wake up to do every day, but if it's something that you really want, it's doable. That's awesome. Okay, so how do you prepare for a cross country meet? I've asked a lot of athletes, and they don't see. I think like basketball is the only sport like you jam out to music. Because <laughs> everyone else I ask just says, "Oh, we just get in the zone." No, I mean, I definitely have my headphones in before a race, and I'm listening to my music. Um, but just stretching, warming up. We usually do about a 10 minute run to warm up, um, stretching listening to my music, uh, we'll say our little chant at, that we do at the beginning of every race, we'll say a prayer as a team, and then it's to the start line, and here we go. Okay, get to business. Okay, um, and what do you expect from the rest of the season as we go into Peach Bell? Um, well, we have a race tomorrow in Augusta, and really that's not to show anything, it's just to kind of give um, the other girls that haven't been able to travel a chance, because um, we still do need to find our sixth and seventh for a conference and region. Um, but as far as conference goes, I'm expecting to finish as a team in the top five. I think we can do it. Um, in making, we finish second. Um, so I'm excited about that. And then as far as region goes, um, just to perform well again. And my personal goal is to finish better than 19th because that's what I finished last year. So make all region again. Good goal. Okay, well, you can catch Allison and the cross-country team in their meet tomorrow, Friday, October 5th, at the Jaguar Invitational in Augusta, Georgia.